guys welcome to the next video on the chapter sectors of the economy in the previous video we discussed how gdp is calculated what is the change in scenario of the three sectors in this video we'll be discussing employment now let's look at the scenario which was a few decades ago and what it is just uh, 10 years back and we can see a stark difference in the sense that earlier in the case of 1973 we can see the share of each sector in gdp where you can see the primary sector has around 45 percent of the share of the total gdp and in terms of employment the share is close to 70 percent whereas on the other hand uh, now in this 2003 the graph you will see that it is close to 25 percent whereas still the employment has not fallen down below 60 percent so still it is very high even though the share of gdp has reduced on the other hand if you look at the uh, tertiary sector its share in the gdp was close to 35 percent which has increased to around 55 percent on the other hand on, if we take the case of employment, here it was around 15% which has increased to around 20%. So, even though the share has increased multifolds, the uh, employment increase has not been much. So, this you can easily see with this fact that the production of goods have went up 8 times. So, they are producing 8 times what we were initially in the manufacturing sector, secondary sector. However, the employment has went up by just 2.5 times. So even though the production has went up 8 times, the employment has went up only 2.5 times. On the other hand, if you look at the service sector, your tertiary sector, its production has gone up 11 times. But the employment has gone up only 3 times. So because of this changing scenario, you can see that uh, your employment in the primary sector has become stale More people are still working in primary sector even though its share is reducing every every day every year so because of this reason this has led to a situation of underemployment it is a case of underemployment also called disguised unemployment so what has happened here is that more people are working in agriculture than is necessary so even if we remove some of the people and move them to other sectors, the production through agriculture will not suffer. So this is the case of underemployment also called disguised unemployment. Disguised unemployment is a situation of unemployment where people look employed. But if, but if they had lost their job, then the production will not suffer. So when more people are employed than necessary, because they don't have any other opportunity available this leads to a situation where these people will not be getting their fair share of money because their importance to the sector is not much so because of this they may spend the whole day but they will get very little returns so case of disguised unemployment is the biggest problem for employment in agriculture so how can we actually solve this problem there are various ways through which we can do that we, we can look at actually uh, we can get loans by banks and by giving them loans by banks what we can do is giving them the uh, credit that they require what will happen is that we can actually use unused agricultural fields and these people which were employed in uh, in original fields they can move to new fields and the production can grow or we can develop infrastructure like dams canals so to get uh, employment also will be there for them by construction of this infrastructure and once this is done uh, there will be prosperity in the region which can lead to new avenues for their uh, employment similarly the case with accessibility once you increase accessibility to a market for an agriculture sector what happens is their income starts increasing and they can look at again new avenues they can let their children go to schools they can let their children have better health care so the people become more employable so by improving accessibility then what we can do if we cannot improve accessibility there's another thing we can do we can bring the industries to these semi-rural areas 
so we'll take the industries like food processing units so we'll set up food processing units in semi rural areas and these people can get new jobs because by opening cold storage what we can do is first of all the production will be better the production will be saved it can be stored for a long period of time especially for the perishable goods like tomatoes and your fruits so if they're not kept in cold storage they go uh, uh, rotten so by opening cold storage areas you are improving your production facilities also providing employment to these people then obviously by having better health and educational institutions what will happen is these people will become healthy these people will become educated and once they are healthy and educated they can easily get new jobs in other sectors as well then another thing is explore the potential of that region maybe that region is not specific only to agriculture it could be better for their uh, craft industry as well it could be better for their tourism as well so we can promote the craft industry like handicraft we can explore tourism in that area and again creating new avenues for employment the idea is simple create new ideas for employment now the government also thought on this uh, uh, channels which we have discussed and they came up with a short fix solution because all those we discussed in the previous the slide were long term solution they require a long time and to help the people right now the government came up with a fix called narega or Nas national rural employment guarantee act national rural employment guarantee act of 2005 so this was uh, started by the manmohan singh government and the important feature of this is that anyone who wants job is guaranteed job so guaranteed 100 days of employment to whoever is able to and needs job that's it so you just want a job and you will get it so it will provide employment it will give and if it is not able to give the government is not able to give employment to you it will give you unemployment allowances so it will pay you to sit at home because they have not been able to provide you the job that you wanted and again the type of work that they will be asked to do is something that will increase the production from land so what will the work be like so they will be asked in all those people who, who are under Man uh, Narega Act they will be asked to build let's say rainwater harvesting areas better irrigation so channels will be canals will be built in rural areas or roads will be built there by these people so all that will help in increasing the production from this land so this was about the short fix that the government came up with Narega. So this is about employment. In the next video, we'll be discussing the division of various sectors. Thank you so much.